All right, Pierce, it's time for you to build your same game parlay. You also have four legs. What's your first one? You know, but before we even do that, go ahead and hit the number two interception on Stafford. We're going to throw that one in there as well. Whoa. We'll make it a five game. Can we go to five game parlay? No, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's too late here to uh, to do it. We got uh, we got. Pro- all right, wait, so we're going to add that to yours, Pierce. You just hit the button. Just hit the button. All right, the That's button's been hit. Do. Don't don't yell at me. And, and the producer back there is freaking out. Producer Mac, gosh, dude. All right, well, don't hit the button. Uh, well, Mixon is where we will start. And I'm going to go with Mixon over 62 and a half rushing yards. If we are confident in the Bengals and we think that they're going to win and they're going to go over the money line, then I don't see the scenario where he has this – or where the Bengals win and Mixon is not running the ball, but the Bengals are not uh, – working it on the ground. And then you look at the Rams, what they've done recently. Yeah, they shut down Eli Mitchell last week. But that was a one-dimensional San Francisco team. They shut down Leonard Fournette. Fournette wasn't 100%, and Tampa Bay's offense has struggled down the stretch. Oh, well, they shut down the Cardinals. The Cardinals were a mess down the stretch. I think this Rams rush defense is inflated. You look at the regular season where they had tough matchups, and they weren't really that dominant. Mixon will go over 62 and a half. All right, it's now 64 and a half, Jeff. Yeah, I th- we we know. Uh, we, I, I mean, I don't. I don't mind going over a mix in prop for your same game parlay. I would probably be more conservative and go the fifty four point five route. I just feel like this is going to be a close game, and at the end, Mixon's carries will dry up. But he's more than capable of going over this. And if they do have the lead at the end of the game, you know, the one thing we do know about the Bengals, they will stick with the run. Like even if they're behind a little bit late, they'll give Mixon the carry. So I, I do like adding him as an overplay. I would probably just go fifty four and a half because I'm 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 you know I'm I'm, I'm conservative. Yeah, yeah, you re- you so really you are. These big totals, like so, Pierce. Pierce, you're sticking with Mixon. You're going to the receiving yards department next. Yeah, let's go under. If he is going to be running the ball, so a lot of this parlay, just like with Jeff, it all kind of connects together. They have to correlate together. There's got to be a theme here. So if the Bengals are going to win, and the Bengals are going to do it on the ground, then they're going to do it on the ground. Joe Mixon under 39 and a half receiving yards. I think he's going to have a part. He's going to have a role in the receiving game. But if they're up, like we have seen before, they're going to use him more as a carrier. They're going to run the ball with him 19, 20 times. He's not going to have the opportunities on the ground. And some of those are through the air. And some of those opportunities through the air might even go to P. Ryan or all the other targets that Joe Burrow can pass to. I like the way that these two correlate together. Obviously, if one hits, then the other should. If they both miss, they both miss. All right, Jeff, we're up to plus 700 here on the bet slip. No. That, in- that includes the staff for two interceptions. It's, it's a good idea to correlate. you got to think about your, your ticket in, in terms of, like, you know, obviously – do these things make sense to put together? This one makes a lot of sense. Just like when the last one we were targeting under Cam Akers rush total and like the the Bengals money line kind of thing. This one makes total sense. You go over the, the mix and rush, but you take his under on the receiving. And P. Ryan, like he already mentioned, getting involved. So. All right, next leg here on your ticket, Pierce. Uh, it's going to be Higgins over in the number now, 74 and a half receiving yards. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, obviously, I think it'll move up even more than that. But... The Bengals are going to win. It's not going to be Mixon alone. He's not going to rush for 250 yards and carry this team completely. Someone in the receiving department is going to have to get it done. Jamar Chase will deal with Jalen Ramsey. Jamar Chase will deal with double teams. And we've seen Higgins shine in this spot. And Higgins has a really good matchup against a 5'9 quarterback and the other one being 5'11". Higgins is 6'4". Uh, Both those quarterbacks are lower graded. I think Higgins is definitely going to have a really big game. We've seen him explode. Someone else has to step up. Uh, might be multiple people, but I'll take Higgins. All right, uh, Jeff, quick on this one, please. Yeah, I, I actually like going to over 84 and a half. I almost put this one on my ticket. Higgins, like four or five games down the stretch with 90 plus yards. Uh, he's hit or miss, but if, if he breaks free, it's, it's, he's going to go well over this. All right, Pierce, last leg here of your five leg, uh, same game parlay. You're going under Akers rushing yards, but different than Jeff. You have 64 and a half. Which I, it's now safe. it's now at 60, 69 and a half. Wow, oh, wow, that's really safe. So that's okay. fine. I might actually lean more towards Jeff and look at some of those alternatives. But right now, I'll take 69 and a half. That's easy. That's really easy. If this game plays out the way that I'm expecting with Mixon being in control, Higgins having a big game, that means the Rams are trailing. That means they are not going to run the ball with Akers. Uh, I think all these plays correlate together, and uh, someone's going to make a lot of money off of them. All right, Jeffrey. I mean, I, look, obviously I like the Akers play. So let's see what Pierce got. What did we get to? What, All right, so we have Pierce. five picks on the ticket. Same game parlay plus 2,200. Wow, oh, nice. P- Pierce is going to make a lot of people a lot of rich. 
on Sunday. You could probably put all these plays together. Almost. And you could probably parlay it with Pierce's NASCAR pick. I, I don't know what it is or if they're playing or if they're driving this weekend or whatever they're, they're doing there. But they're, you know, they're not playing this weekend. <laughs>